Hey y'all, hey, what's up y'all, what's up divas, what's up divos, what's up everybody, what's up YouTube fam, what's up? Hope y'all having like a really blessed day, y'all already know what time it is, it's Real Talk Wednesday you guys, but of course it's Monday, but what's up you guys, what is up? Hope y'all all having like a really great day, a blessed day, a safe day, a prosperous day, an amazing day, okay? Just a good day in general, whenever you watching this, okay? Either it be today that or tomorrow, I hope y'all all have like a blessed week, how about that one, okay? Now I feel like... I'm, I'm a little congested right now thanks to these allergies i'm gonna just say that girl let me tell y'all now saturday we had the virtual baby shower we're gonna get into that okay but right like in the middle of it i started feeling like you know lethargic i felt the allergies okay and it's it's funny how one minute i'll be just cool for like i could be good for like an entire week and then when i get the allergies when i tell you it'd be like hell on earth it just feel like it'd be hell when i tell you i promise you i think i sneezed about 100 times on Saturday within two hours, not throughout the entire day. But as soon as we was done with the baby shower, that's when I just kept sneezing and wouldn't stop. And I'm glad that I didn't like display that during the baby shower because girl, it got so bad. I just got, it just got, I got really bad and really terrible within that time frame. It had to be like about 45 minutes after the baby shower is when the sneezing nonstop, like my nose was totally red. I look like Rudolph on a non-Christmas fucking day. Okay. My nose started, I started getting the post nasal drips and I mind you, I had like the sniffles throughout the day, but this was like uncontrollable. They was just, it was like post nasal drip. And I know that's a TMI, but I'm here to share it with y'all. Cause that's what we do. We like to share shit, right? So I got the post nasal drip nonstop the sneezing nonstop. And you know, I'm so appreciative and grateful that anyone would tell me god bless you like it, it can be anyone it, but when someone says god bless you i'm always thankful like thank you but i just feel like this like i sneezed about six times back to back over and over and over again i kept doing this and my kids and my grandkids they just kept telling me god bless you god bless you and i, I had to tell them like you know what i appreciate it thank you but you don't have to keep blessing me no more because i'm not gonna stop and you're just gonna have to keep saying it and i got tired of saying thank you after a while okay like when i tell you i felt so bad i was like if I, you know how people be like i'm down on my luck girl when i tell you i was down on my damn luck i was i was down on my luck okay i was down on my luck that evening and i was so glad that it waited until after the baby shower because I hate to be on camera sniffing in and not blowing my nose, like snorting the snot. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know that's a TMI, but I just, I'm just glad that it, uh, it was, I was able to wait it out because it got really bad. I ended up having to take a Claritin and y'all know at nighttime, I, I like to go in my bed and I like to color and I like to um, smoke my weed and relax. Right. Well, of course I did that on Saturday night. I took that Claritin and then I also take sleep medication because you know, I don't get any sleep. I have bad insomnia due to like hormonal changes from my hysterectomy. So I've been, I have medic, excuse me, I have medication that's prescribed to me. The Claritin had just kind of like, there's just one Claritin. They say they work for 24 hours. Girl, that from sneezing and sniffling, it just kicked my ass so bad. I couldn't even smoke my weed like that. I just had to take my ass to sleep. Like when I tell you I went to sleep, I went to sleep. Okay. But yes, that was, that was my day. When I woke up on Sunday, let me tell you y'all, my eyes was burning. They were so sore from my allergies and they were puffy now. Like they're always, this eye always seemed like it want to be puffy or like a crease, but it's even worse. You know, I tried to cover it up with some concealer but girl when i tell you i had a day i had a day now the baby shower let me say this to y'all y'all are all amazing whether y'all know this or not or whether no one tells you or someone tells you i'm telling you guys you all are so effing amazing um the baby shower was like an hour and you know we opened the gifts and stuff and of course we couldn't play any games because it was a virtual baby shower and i think there was probably like about 90 to 100 people in the live which was fine you know i wish everybody else would have been able to come but i'm still thankful for those who did come and you could watch it in the recap but y'all are so effing amazing my daughter-in-law was so grateful and so overwhelmed with the support and not in an overwhelmed in a bad way but she just was she just felt so blessed you know what i'm saying when it was over she just was like wow i didn't know that that was like really your family like that and i'm like telling her like they always look out for me and they've always been near my corner whether i got a rant or bitch about something they there in my corner and she just was overwhelmed with the love and she was just so grateful for the gifts like you know she she compared our virtual baby shower to the baby showers that she 
she had in person. And she said those baby showers had nothing on what we did for her at the virtual baby shower. And so she just want me to let you guys know once again, thank you so much for everything for baby Jason because he needed so many things. And you know, she's a single mother and um, she just was so blessed and so grateful. And she just was so amazed at all the stuff that was sent and all the different sizes. And she just felt so like relaxed, reassured. She felt a lot more at ease, the word. She felt a lot more at ease because, you know, she got four boys now and she a single mother. You know, my son is the father of her children, but he's not here. You know, he's in jail. But she just feels so much at ease that she's going to be okay. And she was just wanting to say thank you so much. And I'm saying thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. And I'm just, you know what? I, I say this all the time, okay? God don't never give you more than you can handle. And he has blessed me. God has blessed me so many times. God is a blessing is in himself, okay? God is a blessing in himself. But the blessings and the love that I get and the support that I get is 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 a blessing. You know what I'm saying? You guys are a blessing. And I'm just so thankful for everything that you guys have done for me and my family over all these years that I've been on YouTube. It ain't even about the gift giving, but it's about y'all just being there, which is support and love. And I'm so thankful to y'all because I don't really know what I would do without y'all. Y'all, you know, I'm here talking to y'all, but we not really here, but we are, I'm here. I'm here, here and here with y'all, regardless if it's recorded, I'm here. So I just want to say thank you so much for blessing my family and me with the love from all of you guys. Thank you so much for blessing my grandchildren. Thank you so much for everything that y'all have done. And I just thank y'all for being y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously the baby shower was beautiful he got so many beautiful gifts okay and he is set he has so many nice things and it's just i just i just really can't say thank you enough you know what i'm saying like Man, God put people in your life for a reason certain people and even if they negative people he show you that this is not what you need in your life you know what I'm saying so y'all is like y'all are amazing like y'all are definitely amazing okay but it went beautiful I had to um I followed her home because you know she had the baby and I put the baby in my car because she had all the gifts in her car so I put the baby in my car so that way he didn't have to be surrounded by a whole bunch of stuff you know so I brought him home and plus her AC in her car went out she has to get it recharged so being that my car is in the garage and I don't, you know, her car was sitting out. The sun probably made her car really hot. So I figured, let me bring the baby home in my car. Now where she lives at an apartment complex, they have a little shelter thing over. So she's in the shade, but you know, it was hot. It was like 90, a hundred degrees probably about. Yeah, not about it was okay. And he just such a little thing. So I put him in my car and I brought him home along with some other things. And he's just so tiny. He's just so tiny and cute. And he's, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make sure to put a picture, but, um, she put his swing together that night. She said that he loved the swing and um she sent me a picture of him he's just, he's just a cutie pie he he's a cutie pie um yeah I got six grandkids you guys six and you know what I'm blessed to have a, such a beautiful daughter-in-law she's an amazing daughter-in-law and I wish her nothing but the best and I'm glad that I'm able to be in her life and her children's lives you know what I'm saying now her two oldest children my first grandson and uh, my third grandson Julian and JJ they will be going to Georgia this summer her mom is gonna be here on Tuesday to come and visit with her for about a week a week and a half and then she's gonna take the two oldest boys back to Georgia with her for the summer she lives in this beautiful town in Georgia. It's not like in Atlanta or anything. It's like by our army base. So it's really small. There's really not much to do there. It takes 45 to 50 minutes, she said, to get to Target because there's nothing in that town. She's always telling me to come visit her. Come visit. Come visit. She and her husband um, have a ranch style house. They have four bedrooms and two baths. And she said she has three available bedrooms. And you know what's so crazy? The rent that she pays for the house is amazing. It's $1,300. Like, what the hell? And it's a beautiful house. Like, it's a beautiful house. I'm like, girl, don't tell me that because I will move. I will move. I love a place. I like where, because I'm slow. Like, not slow, like slow, like duh. But, you know, I've been born and raised in New York City my entire life. So when I moved here in Arizona, I wanted slow living. I wanted it to be peaceful and quiet. And, you know, like more suburban and just not like city life. But, you know, over the years, the past couple of years, it seemed like since COVID, all right? And a little bit after COVID, to be honest, they've been building like nonstop, like building is going out of style. They've been building everywhere you turn is a goddamn building. OK, it don't even be houses. It be fucking buildings. And when I tell you that they take any empty spot 
and build some shit on there they ain't taking any empty spot now out here and building some shit on it and a lot of people may like that type of lifestyle living but when i've already came from that and i'm trying to get away from it it's not for me like i don't really give a damn about stores because i don't go anywhere i'm i'm a homebody i like to be in the house you know what i'm saying and when i was hanging out with my friend last summer that was the first show. not even the first though i mean i might be reaching but y'all don't really see me going out to the bars or hear me going out to the bars and clubbing and karaoke and like that i don't do stuff like that on the regular i'm a very homebody person i like to be at home I like to sit in color, okay? I like my coloring books. I like to make my jewelry, my braces. Even if ain't nobody buying these shits, I'm still making them because it gives me something to do. It's like a craft and a hobby for me. You know what I'm saying? And eventually they'll get fucking sold. But I'm a homebody, so I don't need like a lot of things surrounding me. I used to say, I, as long as I have Walmart, Target, and the Dollar Tree, the grocery store, I'm good because I refuse to go grocery store shopping at fucking tar um, Walmart. I don't even need a Dollar Tree no more because I don't. I barely really go into the Dollar Tree, okay? I might go into the Dollar Tree maybe like once a month and... Girl, I ain't spending no more than probably like $10, okay? So the Dollar Tree is really not on my to-do list anymore. Uh, and it, they just changed a lot. So I don't really care about the $3 and $5 shit. And then the $1.25 shit is like I can go to Walmart and get my detergent, my dish detergent, my Dawn dish detergent from Walmart for $0.97. Cents. And so I'm saving. So the things that the Dollar Tree has is really not in my interest. They, after a while, it's like junk at the Dollar Tree. And I'm not trying to fit anybody that buys or shops at the Dollar Tree. But to me, it starts feeling like junk. So I'm not even in a need of a Dollar Tree. But she does say they, they do have like uh, several grocery stores. There's Kroger, which I have right down the street from me. Um, but as long as I have a decent grocery store, I'm good. As far as Target, maybe I would might drive 45 minutes to go to a Target. 45 minutes is not too bad. Maybe I'll drive that. Maybe I would. Maybe I'll just order the shit online. You know, Amazon is a great place to shop. And I do a lot of my shopping at Amazon. And you know what, Amazon, you could use the Afterpay. So, baby, listen, I'll get my shit from Amazon. Or I'll just get my shit online from Walmart and have like one of those Instacart places to live but I don't need like all the clubs and things like that I love a good quiet simple life okay where everybody might know everybody that's me girl so she best not to keep telling me to come on down because I'll come and don't leave okay I'll come and stay you'll be like when you going back home oh girl I'm trying to find me a home here I'm gonna just stay but you know so the mom she'll be here Tuesday and she and I are really good friends and um I've known Mercedes I've known Sharina for 17 years but I've known Mercedes and her husband much longer than that because her husband was a correctional officer at the county jail where I used to live at in New York so I knew him real well because you know girl baby daddy like to go to jail okay so that's how I knew him I knew him actually first but um they're really good people such good people they are amazing people and girl she make them make she make this good ass rice and peas you know Puerto Ricans can cook their ass off okay but um she'll be here Tuesday and she's gonna come for a visit and then she's gonna take the older boys back so that way she has time with the two youngest the new baby and my grandson who's three who's autistic she'll have more time with them just private time so and you know I'll be of course at her disposal if she needs help and Tati will be as well so yes thank you all for the baby shower the mother um, her mom was in the baby shower too she was in the um, comments she was at the lot watching too she had bought um the baby stroller that was on the list for the baby you know she just was so sweet she's so sweet to me she just was thanking me for just making sure her daughter was always okay and looking after her daughter i said that's my daughter too that's my daughter too now okay yeah but we had a great time we had an amazing time at the baby shower it was beautiful everybody was so respectful i was so happy to see everybody there you know i was off to the side you really couldn't see me as much but i was there you know because it wasn't about me the baby shower was not about me it was about my daughter-in-law so you know i was handing her the gifts now the baby he he did make his appearance in the in the shower but tati she stole him and didn't want to bring him back okay so um she was she was his assistant for the baby shower she was holding him and changing his little butt and making sure you know that he had his food or whatever have you his comfort she was that for him so he made his appearance but she gladly took him and didn't bring him back you know what i'm saying but um it was we had a great time it was only a, a little bit over an hour i mean it's not much need i didn't really want to steal too many people's time you know i was just grateful that everybody showed up and showed out you know what i'm saying so it was really really a great baby shower so i thank you all i thank you all for showing up thank you all for your love and support i just can't really thank y'all enough but let me just tell y'all y'all are amazing y'all are all amazing so moving right along Long. we actually do have two sponsors for today y'all okay now first of all I definitely have to mention this in this video now y'all know I work with a lot of different wig companies okay but my main two will be my first wigs and RPG show okay those be my main two and now even while African too because we work together all the time but for years for years my rider dies have been RPG show and my first wigs. Like I have been working with my first, excuse me, I have been working with RPG show for the beginning. Like maybe they they was out on the market for like maybe like a year or two, about a year. 
before um prior to me working with them you know this is not my first rodeo on youtube this is not my first channel okay you know if you don't know i did have two other prior channels to this one got hacked, which I was almost at 100,000. I think it was like 80,000 I was at. And then the second one got suspended because of like spam and companies was using like my uh, links and spamming them like companies to promote their stuff. So you gotta be really careful when you work with certain companies um, to promote their items. It could be anything, especially foreign countries because they will take the link and they will spam it just to boost their sales, which will come back and report to YouTube, which will shut your channel down. So you gotta be really careful. But this is my third channel, but I've been down with RPG shows since the beginning okay maybe not the beginning but a year after they opened and um it's it's crazy because rpg show and i share the same birthday okay june 19 is when they started and that's when i was born so rpg show and my first weeks always makes it their business to send me a birthday gift every year and i love them because they're family to me i love them you know what i'm saying i absolutely love that company but i did get a wig for my first wig the other day but i also got a birthday gift okay so they sent me this birthday gift and i wanted to show this to you guys because i thought it was so effing cute like this was so damn cute now they know i guess they do watch my videos and they do and it's not about wigs they watch all my videos and they it's it's crazy and it's amazing because when i'm sick i've noticed this twice i've had a cold or I've been sick the next day I wake up I got flowers at my door they didn't send me flowers okay so they know what my birthday is and they send me Christmas gifts and all so I guess they've been watching my video of me showing my tumblers you know my cuppies that I love so much you know what I'm saying so <laughs> I've never seen one like this but you guys this is so effing cute look at this this got my name on it i don't even want to drink out of it because it's so damn cute it says miss muffin is my lovers on the side okay and it looks like a coffee cup look look at this this is so damn cute this looks like a coffee cup and of course it's insulated it's, it has the metal in the inside okay now and it says on the bottom coffee look at this this is so you guys can you see it oh yeah Oh, there it goes there it goes there it goes so it says coffee on the bottom i don't know if you guys can see it but it says coffee and it has a little rubber bottom so you know it's not like messing up any type of surfaces all i had to do is put the handle on it this was so fucking cute okay and i'm using a cuss word now because when i seen this i was like oh my god twins where have you been mother and daughter cup like this is so cute so i had to share this with you guys and the fact that it came in this box okay look at the cutout with it i was like oh my god this has got to be the damn cutest my kids was like my daughter Nate was like are you gonna keep the box yeah i'm keeping the damn box this box is fucking cute why would i not keep the box okay i love stuff like this i like stuff like this okay i like stuff like this okay but i wanted to share that with you guys real quick so if y'all are watching my first wigs thank you so much for the birthday gift thank you i love you guys like seriously thank you now also we do have two sponsors today and i know y'all see the one sponsor because i know y'all like girl why you got shoes in the background of your video okay girl now let me just tell y'all now y'all know what i just said about amazon i love amazon amazon prime get your shit on time girl okay amazon prime now y'all know some of y'all know some of y'all may not know i wear a size 11 okay a size 11 sometimes i can wear a size 12 too in women's okay no lie if it's a good quality shoe well that's a lie because it could be a good quality shoe like but i would still need a 12 depending on the make because you know they make shoes small and narrow but I wear a size 11, 11 and a half to 12, okay? So when I go in the stores, I'm not really finding my size like that. Like, there are certain stores that I can find some decent shoes. Like Target, I can always find shoes for myself at Target. They always have 11. They don't go past 11, though, okay? They don't. Mm -mm. Not that I've ever seen. I got lucky a couple times at Savior's Thrift Store and got me a size 12 and some boots, which was perfect. But size 11 is my size, and it's very hard for me to find shoes in size 11, especially sometimes on Amazon because I hate scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Now, here's the kicker. This company reached out to me, and they are a huge Amazon vendor. They sell shoes on Amazon. Athlete Fits is what their name is, and they have really great uh, casual shoes, and they go up to a size 11. Now, they did send me two pair, and these, of course, are the two pair that they sent me. Now, these ones right here, I've been seeing these trending, like, all over the place, okay? And, of course, I did want a pair. I did end up seeing these at Target as well, but didn't come in my size. On Athlete Fit, they do go up to a size 11, and I do believe there are three different versions of this particular shoe. They are all 100% leather, and when the three versions of this particular shoe are the flats, which you see I got, the semi-chunky heel and the taller heel is what these do come in. 
So, and there's a variety of colors as well. Now, you know with Amazon Prime, you will definitely get your shit on time, girl, okay? But these are made with 100% leather, very good quality. I like the bottoms of these. And let me tell you, I didn't get a chance to wear them out yet because I very rarely go anywhere. But they fit great, and I'm very thankful and grateful that I got some shoes for the summer. Because I have purchased shoes. I will also get shoes from Walmart. And um, but Walmart's prices are getting a little bit pricey. And I was able to get a pair, a quite a few pair of summer shoes from them when they had this big sale, and I got a bunch of them for two dollars. Now I also did get these from them, and I was so undecided about these because these come in a variety of colors, and I'm always so quick to get black. But I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get black this time. I'm gonna get a lighter color, only because the black ones they also had this white insole at the bottom. But I wasn't too crazy about the white on the black. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is different. But also they also had ones that were foam. Now, I'm a very picky person when it comes to shoes. I don't like anything foamy-like that is white color. You know, the foamy white right here? Because it gets dirty and then it's hard to clean off. And I don't like when anything gets dirty that's like foamy. I don't know if it's called foamy-like, but you guys know what I mean. Like this certain type of material is like a foamy-like. And you got the white, like a rubbery-like. Not even rubber, but like a foamy-like. It gets so hard to clean off. And then it just kind of takes away from the shoes. So I try not to get too many shoes that kind of like have white at the bottom. Because like the sneakers, not the gum, but the other part of the sneaker, the foamy like part. When that gets dirty, you have to scrub that off with a toothbrush. So I really try not to get a lot of shoes that have that type of material. Because it just takes away from the shoe when it's dirty to me. And it's a pet peeve of mine. So I decided to get these because this part right here is not foamy this all white is a rubbery um type of material very sturdy and very easy to wipe off and clean but i like the shoe now mind you i don't wear heels anymore so anything that i'm wearing is going to be a slight wedge and not even really so much a wedge but um I do like the height of these. They're not too bad. Now, the prices for the shoes are really great. Now, like I said, these are all leather. They do run up to a size 11, and the price of these were $45. Now, they do fit good. They're very comfortable, and they're not going to outstretch, if you're wondering, because they do have leather on the other banding part of the strap. The only part that doesn't have the leather banding is the part that's going to go around your ankle, which is going to give you the comfort, and I like that because it's, it fits my fat-ass ankles. But yes, athlete fit. They have loads of different shoes now if you like comfortable shoes then you definitely want to check them out they have loads of different colors i just so happen to get something kind of like all in the same color field and that's what i wanted to do but i'll definitely link them down below amazon prime get your shit on time girl okay so thank you so much aptly fit for these amazing shoes i will definitely link them below now the last item that i'm going to show you know what we're going to leave those items sponsored for next week's because i've talked y'all ear off enough i did and i want to jump into this real talk so we're going to jump into this Real Talk real quick. Y'all already know what time it is. If y'all have a Real Talk video that you would like me to talk about, you can always send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. Or you can use my Real Talk, which is April's Real Talk at gmail.com. Either one, you can send it to. Either one, please put in the subject line, Real Talk. So that way I know it's a Real Talk email. And you, if you want to change the names of the people that you are talking about in the email, whether it be you or someone you know, you can always go ahead and do so and let me know I've changed the names. Or you can just say these are the names and you can use them. It is what it is. So, on that note, let's get into this real talk, girl. Okay. Right, you guys so this email i thought was so it was wild okay like when i say it was fucking wild this email was so wild like i was like are you serious like because i really didn't know how to respond to that i mean <laughs> i mean i do know how to respond to it but i just thought it was wild and funny you know what i'm saying like i but i also can acknowledge it and i can also say i i agree with you and i and i know i can i can understand where you're coming from and i know what you're talking about girl okay so 
She didn't put no title. It just it said it said Miss April. Real talk, Miss April. Now, normally people will put real talk and then like a dash with the um, title, but she put real talk, Miss April. So I guess that's the title, Miss April. Okay. So let's get let's read this. Hello, Miss April. My name is Tanya for this video. And when is enough enough? Miss April, I am 28 years old and my mother is your age. She is 51. She has several grandkids. And Miss April, I cannot understand why my mother feels the need to dress like someone who doesn't care about themselves. Like I said, she is your age, 51. Well, maybe not exactly your age, but close to it. Excuse me? She has her own social media, which is fine, but feels the need to flaunt around in booty cutter shorts and dresses, acting ratchet as who knows what in public. I refuse to have my kids with her because that is not how a grandmother is supposed to act. I cannot understand for the life of me why my mother feels it's okay to dress the way she does. She lost weight, well basically got her stomach done, and feels like everything three sizes too small is her size. I am overly embarrassed to be seen with her in public because when we are together, she's always trying to flirt with men or rather boys my age in front of me. She will twerk in public and gyrate in public as if it looks sexy on her old ass. I wish, oh my God. I wish she would act more her age, but she doesn't. She thinks clubbing is the weekly weekend thing to do. She has two grown kids, me being one of them. My other sister, who is 23, she is so tired of her at this point as well. Why are all these women in their late 40s and early 50s trying to keep up with the younger crowd? What do you say to someone who is half a century old about their dress code and attitude and behavior? I would love for her to act her age, but it seems like it's impossible. Thank you so much, Tanya. Now, first of all, that's why I said it was wild and it was funny. Because did she say at the end, what do you tell somebody who's half a century years old how to dress and how to, how to act? First of all, I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or, or a diss. Because, hold up, bitch. In a couple of weeks, on the 19th, of, on, which is on a Wednesday, y'all, my birthday will be, and I will be half a century the fuck old, okay? Let me say this. We don't get here for no reason. We here for a purpose, okay? Some people don't even make it to be half a century old, okay? Let alone some don't even make it to be 25, 30, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Which is unfortunate, you know? But I don't know, because she was like, <laughs> she, <coughs> what did she say? Um, why are all these women in their late 40s and early 50s trying to keep up with the younger crowd? Now, that part, I can kind of agree with her. So her name is Tanya. We don't know what her mother's name is because she didn't give her name. So we're going to just call her, uh, we're going to call her Bethany. Okay. Now Tanya is 28 years old and she got a 23 year old sister. She tired of her 50 year old. She is tired of her 51 year old mother, Bethany, dressing like a, um, a young thotty. Okay. That's all I can tell you. A young thotty. She said she done got her stomach done and she thinks anything three sizes too small fit her well. Okay. She said she go to the club weekly. It did not just say I don't, I don't do the club things, but she said she go to the club weekly. And then when she and her mother go out, she is embarrassed to be seen with her mother because her mother will flirt with the young boys, okay? She'll be out in public. Um, she will twerk and gyrate in public as if it looks sexy on her old ass. Okay, so first of all, 51 is not old, sweetheart. Tanya, 51 is not old. When you get to her age, make sure that you realize you're 51 and go back to those times when you said your mother was old because I'm pretty sure if you have, if you have children... I don't. You, I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna want nobody calling you old at the age of 51. Okay, so 51 is definitely not old. But it's funny how the younger crowd that be like in their 20s or whatever, they they quick to call somebody in their 40s old. No, but that's not old. Old is what you make of it. Okay, if you're 104 years old, maybe you are ass is old, but you still breathing, which is a blessing. Okay, and I don't consider myself to be old. I'm gonna be 50, and I don't damn sure consider myself to be old. A bitch don't look like she's 50 anyway. I'm gonna just say this. Yeah, there are some women that are older that you just be like do you know what you're wearing girl do you really know what you're wearing so i can honestly relate to that but it's like you know what clothes are made for everybody so it's it's not you know it's just clothes like people feel young at heart but there are some things that i just wouldn't agree with like okay so we could just say i'm 50 now okay i never really was one to wear half naked clothes outside it don't matter what age I was. I've always been like a modest person. You know, I've never wore booty cutter shorts out in public. I never even owned a pair of Daisy Dukes with my ash cheeks hanging out. So I've never wore stuff like that in public. But that doesn't make me a better person than those who have wore stuff like that in person. That's just me as a person. I just don't wear stuff like that. I've never worn stuff like that. I'm an introverted person. So of course we don't like a lot of attention on us. Of course I'm an introverted person. Of course I'm not going to wear booty cut shorts out in public because I don't like attention on me. Of course. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm just, I've always been like that 
all my life. I've never wore stuff that was so revealing out in public. I've just not been like that. I don't like my bra strap showing. Okay. That's just me as a person. You know, each person is different. You can't judge a person always because of that's what they wear. But then maybe you can. Now, twerking and gyrating in public at the age of 51 is a little concerning. But maybe she just wants to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Life is short. You got to live it to the fullest and enjoy your life. And maybe that's what your mother is doing now. Because she's got her stomach done. Maybe she was pudgy. Maybe she had a fupa. Okay? And she felt like, you know, she was, you know, she was self-conscious of her looks. And so now being that she's gotten her surgery, she feels more confident. She feels more better about herself. She loves the way she looks. And maybe that's why she's doing the things she do. But all that's working in public i don't give a fuck what age you are to be honest with you it's just not appealing it's not attractive it's stupid it's whack and it's just unattractive for a woman like it just have a little bit more class and respect for yourself and I, like i get that some people might say oh because you're old that's why you feel that way i'm not old and no that's because i have some class and some respect for myself i'm not gonna be shaking my ass out in public like that i just wouldn't do that or gyrating okay but a lot of women put a lot into their asses nowadays and when i say that meaning they will post pictures with nothing but their butts out you know they'll make a video walking out backwards because they're just really into their asses and i don't really understand why because when you think about it the ass is the smelliest part of your body because shit comes out of it okay and i'm just gonna be blunt like that like why would i be so attracted to something that's shit but anyway i wouldn't be twerking in public I just wouldn't be doing it. I don't care what age I am. I'm not going to be twerking in public. But now, yes, we do have a totally different generation that do different things. And maybe your mom is just missing her youth. But I can understand what you're saying about her clothing and her behavior. You know, clothing is one thing. But behavior is something that's totally different. And if she's doing just inappropriate things in public, then, yeah, I would put some concerns. And I probably wouldn't want my children around. You know what? you damn right. If I had kids and my mother, which is their grandmother, was in, out in public with my kids and she was twerking, then there's a problem. Because don't embarrass my children like that. You know what I'm saying? Do not embarrass my fucking kids like that. Now, Tanya, you trying to figure out how do you make a person that's half a century, what do you say to someone who is half a century old about their dress code and attitude and behavior? Girl, you just got to talk to them. She half a century years old. I'm pretty sure she can relate to what you are saying. I'm pretty sure she can definitely understand what the fuck you say it. Okay. Pretty sure there was a time in your life where she told you and taught you how to carry yourself in public, how to behave in public. There had to be because you're here complaining about your mother and there had to be some type of good quality upbringing for you in order to sit here and tell me this in this email. So I'm pretty sure she, she taught you how to be a classy and decent woman. And maybe you need to go back and tell her these things. And maybe you need to let her know, mommy, I don't do those things in public because I just find them to be distasteful. There's certain words that you need to use when you're talking to people that's half a century years old, honey. Okay? Like, don't just come to us and talk about, oh, well, you're ratchet or anything like that. Because we're going to probably feel like you're being real disrespectful. I know if my kids were to say to me, you're being ratchet. Yeah, you're going to have to use, choose your words better for real when you talk to me about being ratchet or being or, or being distasteful in public because i don't just accept any type of verbiage or or tone okay now her clothing three sizes too small there is a there is a thing where people say you need to dress more like your age i get that like i have seen women that are older and when i say older like they had wrinkly skin okay wrinkly skin they have some wrinkly ass skin okay they they had on some mini skirts and i they were not um they they <laughs> some old women do really be trying to catch up to their youth and get their youth back but i i've seen this old woman a couple of times in the grocery store and when i've seen her like when i say she old now i could be wrong but the bitch looked like she like 85 years old because her skin is so wrinkled, you know what I'm saying? She's not one of us, but um, it don't matter what fucking ethnicity she is. She, um, her skin was really, really wrinkled. Like, you know when people's skin be so wrinkled, it just be wrinkled, like wrinkled. And, yeah, so she could probably been 40 for all I know, but she looked like she was like 85, okay? But um, I seen her old ass. Now, like I said, she could have been 40, but even if she was 40, girl, go, go get your granddaughter back her fucking skirt, okay? Go give your granddaughter back her motherfucking skirt, straight up. Now, yeah, people be like, oh, don't say that about the older people. Let them live their best life, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But there is a time and a place for everything. And like, for real, you should dress your age. Like me, personally, you're not about to see me go outside with no booty shorts on or no fucking booty skirt. When I say booty skirt, I'm talking about a skirt that falls right underneath your ass cheeks. You're not about to see me go outside like that. Because for one, I'm not trusting the skirt. 
I'm not trusting the skirt. Because I know one or two steps, that shit going to rise right the fuck up. And everything's going to be out. So I'm not trusting the process of the skirt. Okay? So that's why you'll never catch me outside of anything like that. But... You're not going to catch me outside in, in certain shit anyway. Even if it wasn't too small, but it just fit right. But there are just some things that I just wouldn't wear because it screams youth. It screams, oh my God, you're like 18, 19 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Like there are some things that I just wouldn't wear. I think like at a certain age, like my age, in your 40s, you, you do need to change your wardrobe, in my opinion. I mean, we do have fun clothes. Like I do have things that I like to wear that is fun. Like I love my t-shirts. Like I love my graphics t-shirts I mean everybody's gonna wear a graphic t-shirt but I do think like at a certain age you do need to change up your wardrobe make it a little bit more classier for yourself because we are like what, what is the right word for us we have to set an example okay we have to set an example and people look up to us and I just feel like at a certain age when you do have grandkids you should dress like not like a grandmother because I don't know what a fucking grandmother dress like all right because I'm not I'm a grandmother of six and I'm not about to dress like I'm an old ass lady but I'm putting on some skinny jeans okay I'm putting on some cute little skirts and dresses you know I just dress classy that's all I can say dress adult appropriate okay but also don't be out in public making a mockery of yourself and humiliating people around you now she got a daughter two daughters and she said that when they're out in public tanya said she's flirting with the young boys that's more or less tanya's age now there are certain things that i just wouldn't do and that's one of them that just to me is like lame and disgusting like why are you flirting with these young ass boys and you got your daughter around you there's certain things that you don't do with your children and even if your child is a grown-up like an adult like 28 you don't do that you don't flirt with young men in front of them God, I don't even want to try to flirt with a man my age in front of my kids because I just withhold uphold myself a little bit more than that. Now, if one was to try to talk to me that is my age, okay, in front of my child, I may I may um, entertain the conversation and I may talk. Then again, I might not because, like I said, I'm an introverted person, so a lot of things I just don't do. Um, however, if a young boy tried to talk to me in front of my child and I said young boy I'm definitely not entertaining that at all and I probably would feel insulted you know I've had younger men young boys try to talk to me on numerous occasions okay in public by myself and while I was with my daughters and I I was just so disgusted like literally disgusted okay thank you for thinking that I'm you know probably like in your age bracket but when I tell you that this is my child and I'm old enough to be your mother that's when you should just stop talking, shut the fuck up, and keep going. She says she's overly embarrassed to be seen with her mother in public. You know what, Tanya? If you're overly embarrassed to be seen with your mother in public, you know how you you can stop that? Don't be seen with her in public. I'm just saying, don't be seen with her in public. You're going to have to say something to your mother because I can't. That's your mother. If she's embarrassing you and your children and herself, then there's some things that you need to sit and talk to her about. You and your sister, okay? Because she might just feel that you're the only one and you're hating on her past, her postpartum stomach or what have you but i would definitely talk to her take her shopping if you're so concerned about what she's wearing girl take her shopping now there's going to be an issue when taking her shopping because she's going to pick out the two three sizes two small items and you're going to probably pick out something that's old lady looking you know what i'm saying half a century year old looking y'all gonna have to come in between y'all gonna have to come in the middle and meet up with each other and find her something that looks decent and more appropriate but what i would do for your mom is i would buy her some clothing and I would present those to her. And then I would also present to her her attitude and behavior in public. It's okay to have a good time. It's okay to have fun. It's definitely okay to enjoy life. But there are there is a time and a place for everything. Now, here's the part. You said she thinks clubbing is the weekly weekend thing to do. She has two grown kids. Okay, and she has two grown kids. Why the fuck she got to stay in the house? If that's not what the fuck she want to do. She raised y'all. She didn't did her time. Why can't she go clubbing? Who cares if she goes clubbing? As long as she's being safe. You know what I'm saying? Then that's her business. But you just said she thinks clubbing is the weekly weekend thing to do. She has two grown kids, being me, one of them. And my other sister is 23 years old. So y'all are two grown kids. What's the problem? She can go out clubbing. Is it the problem that you want her to watch your children? Because you said you do have kids. She has several grandkids and you don't like bringing, leaving your kids around her. Okay. So what do you think that because she's a certain age, she can't go out and hang out with her girlfriends or her friends at the club? You want her to stay home and take care of your kids and babysit your kids. Is that what it is? 
okay let me tell you something just because she's 51 don't mean she's fucking dead now i don't like going to clubbing but that's my preference okay that's who i am just because she likes to go clubbing that's her business she can enjoy her motherfucking life she can wear her little booty cutter shorts to the club look she can do whatever the fuck she wants that's her business she's grown as long as she's not hurting nobody but here's the thing sometimes as an adult maybe we do need to chill a little bit maybe we do need to be a little bit more reserved but some of this email tanya you are being a little bit too picky because she's a grown-ass woman she can go out clubbing she ain't hurt nobody she ain't ruining nobody's life she having a good time she enjoying her life if she goes out clubbing every weekend that's her fucking business okay as long as her bills is paid her priorities are taken care of her responsibilities then what does it matter she's not hurting anybody okay shit all last summer i went out every fucking weekend it wasn't the club it was at the bar we were sitting there watching the game we were sitting there having drinks we was karaoke and that's what the fuck i like to do but i did it on a friday and a sunday and that's what the fuck i like to do okay and my kids didn't have no problem with it but i wasn't out in the streets twerking though either but see that's the difference each person has their own personality and each person is different and if your mother likes to go out and enjoy herself then there's no stopping her this is what she's this is what she's allowed to do she has raised her children and she's done her time and now she has the right to enjoy the rest of her life now there may be some things about your mother that you don't agree upon and i could definitely understand that here being a half a century year old means she's made it this far and she's been blessed by god to live this far and wake up every morning and be here for y'all and your grandkids too okay but what we're not gonna do is sit here and talk about she think that clubbing is a weekly thing it is a motherfucking weekly thing for people okay some people like to go to the clubs every weekend okay that's just their preference but as long as she's not hurting nobody she's not being disrespectful to nobody or anything like that then she's allowed to leave the goddamn house whenever she chooses to now if you are embarrassed with her out in public and you don't like her dress code then there's only a certain amount of things you can do you can either buy her something that you and her both can agree on that she she likes and can wear or you can just stop going out in public with her in general now yeah i wouldn't want my mother twerking out in public and gyrating i damn sure wouldn't okay but sometimes you just gotta let people be and you gotta let them be who they want to be and you just gotta leave them the fuck alone that's what you gotta do with people you gotta learn to leave people the fuck alone and let them be themselves point blank period okay so as far as her ventures on a weekly basis of hanging out she's a grown woman and she could do so and y'all are grown women and y'all could do so too and when she decides to watch the grandchildren so y'all can go out on a weekly cupping basis then that's when she'll decide to do that but when you get a certain age does not mean that you're supposed to buckle down settle down sit in the motherfucking house knit blankets and watch your grandkids all day long that's not what the fuck it's about because i don't do that okay i may like to color and make jewelry but i'm not sitting down and i'm not buckling the fuck down when i decide to go somewhere i'm going okay and i don't give a fuck who you are where it's at or what you're trying to say i'm going because i'm a grown-ass woman i done raised my kids and i did what i needed to fucking do so now i'm gonna enjoy my life and i enjoy my life as it is now but sometimes i do like to put a little spice up in there and fucking go out and karaoke all right now yeah i do dress different than your mother but you know what each person is different if you don't like her dress code and she's embarrassing to you in the street then there's the one thing like i said you don't have to hang out with her because i know this if somebody kept embarrassing me in public i'm not fucking hanging out with you i'm not period so y'all can let tanya know what y'all thoughts are on this and just mind your elders okay just be respectful to your elders tanya that's all i can tell you next email okay how to handle disrespectful grown kids now tanya wasn't disrespectful but this is what this one is titled okay <laughs> don't ask me that question because listen i've been there and done that hi april how are you thank you so much for taking this email on you can call me by my name which is margaret now i have a son who is nothing but a leech he's grown lives on his own you can say but constantly asking me for handouts. I never mind helping any of my children because we all need help a time in our lives. I too have been there. But with him, he acts entitled like we are supposed to help him. He has cussed me out on several occasions and we have gotten to the point or I have gotten to the point where I have put him out of my life such as I will not speak with him for months at a time. We always end up speaking back to one another because he will be in some type of trouble and have to reach out to me. He seems to be my mother's favorite, as she always does for him only, and seems to side with him on various issues, never holding him accountable for anything. Well, now he's in a bind and feels like I'm the one who must and should help him, but I don't feel such. He's in his very late 20s, barely works, and when he does have money, it's all to himself. He never thinks of anyone else but himself. He barely keeps friends because he's a snake and has been a snake to me as well. I really don't feel like helping him out anymore. I really don't feel like helping him out with his bind, but I feel like I should because I have always been there for him. I feel like he's nothing but the devil's spawn, and I have been doing nothing but praying for him. Lo and behold, I have been praying for the devil. What would you do if this is how you felt about your own flesh and blood? Thank you, April. I hope you too have an amazing day, like you always say, Margaret. First of all, I don't like disrespectful people in, in, in general, okay? Disrespectful people, disrespectful kids, disrespectful family members, I don't like it. And Margaret, let me tell you something. I have been there, been there, done that same shit, okay? With my son that's, that's in jail, he's been disrespectful to me on countless, okay? 
um, occasions. And I have done nothing but block him out of my life. Now, when I did this whole baby shower thing, it wasn't for him. It was for my daughter-in-law. Because like I said, on several occasions, she deserves it better. And y'all ain't heard me say that to y'all, but I said it to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love all my kids, but there comes a time in your life when you really need to let them go and let them be who they gonna fucking be. Whether they gonna be a motherfucking bum, a leech, or be somebody important, you gonna have to let go and let them be who the fuck they gonna be. Now, he in a bind, let his ass stay in that motherfucking bind. Let him stay in that fucking bind. That's what I should have did for my son. I should just let him figure it the fuck out on his own and let him stay in that bind. But because my grandkids are involved in the situation, I care for my grandkids. I, I did something for him on the strength for my grandkids. But you know what? This was my last time with him because we've already got into an altercation. Okay, he and I, and you ain't even here. So for that being said, it's, it's sad when you have to block kids, your own children out of your life, but sometimes you just gotta let them the fuck go. And I've been there and done that with my oldest son for ample enough times, like enough times with him. And it's sad when you have to look at somebody and be like, this is how you would treat your own fucking mother. And it's sad because I have done nothing but bent over backwards and did backflips along with the cartwheels to make sure that my children and my grandchildren are okay and have things that they need. You know what I'm saying? But because I love my daughter-in-law so much, I do the things I do for her, not for him. I have gone like almost a whole year not speaking to my son, but I still go over there in the morning and pick up my grandson for school on the strength of my daughter-in-law. I will speak to my daughter-in-law and all that shit, but I would not fuck with him. As for you, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like I said, you got to leave them the fuck alone. Ain't nothing wrong with a little blocking people. Listen, let me tell you something. I will block you out of my entire fucking life. If, if, if block was a person, you would be blocked. If I could push the button and block you forever out of my life, then I would. And I am. You know what I'm saying? And I do. I, listen, if you have disgraced me, enough times and I've done nothing but love you love on you look out for you and you disgrace me enough times then I'm blocking you for the rest of your life and it's sad to say child or not you can get blocked too you know what I'm saying listen kids sometimes be your worst enemies and yeah they do be feeling entitled and like you said you feel like you need to be there for him because you've been the one that's been there for him sweetheart and that's the problem that's the problem because you've been the one that's constantly there for him so he feels entitled but you know what sometimes you got to break out of that bad habit yourself margaret and just let it be yeah you probably be thinking in the back of your head oh my god are they gonna be okay oh my god what's up with them the same way that when he went into jail i was like oh my god i hope he be okay oh my god but when you can cut your mother out while you're in jail because of some shit then you know what <laughs> that thought of me thinking oh my god i hope you're okay it vanishes like I, I pray for you that you be okay but i don't feel bad for you i don't feel bad for you at all i don't feel any type of sympathy because you put yourself in the situation if you in a bind you put yourself in a bind period okay you put yourself in that bind margaret you don't have to walk away and leave him the fuck alone he a grown man what is he she said she said he is in his very late 20s very late probably damn near 30 okay and barely works and when he does have money it's all to himself he never thinks of anyone else but himself so he's a selfish fucking egotistical narcissistic male child okay man child and when he does have money, he doesn't think of anybody else but himself. He doesn't care about how anybody else feels. Then girlfriend, you need to show that same thing. Girl, girl, I'm going to give you back that same energy that you just gave me. Okay? It's a new era. Like they say, you, I'm giving you the same energy. Like these young people be saying, I'm giving you back the same energy that you gave me. Okay? And don't feel no type of way about it. Don't feel bad if you gave somebody back the same energy that they gave you. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, let me tell you something. As much as I love my family, but if you disrespect me and continuously disrespect me, man, I will block the fuck out of you. Okay? When I tell you I will block the fuck out of you, I will block the fuck out of you. For Thanksgiving, past Thanksgiving, he was, my son wasn't allowed in my house for Thanksgiving because you don't ever want to be respectful to people. You can't come here in my house for Thanksgiving. So what did I do for my daughter-in-law? I helped her out and I made her some Thanksgiving and I brought it over there to her. You can't come here. Listen, let me tell you something. I will block the shit out of you. I will block the fuck out of you. All right. Let me tell you something. I will give you that same motherfucking energy that you gave me. Oh, I'm giving it the fuck back to you. It's a new era and it ain't even been a new era for this. We been was doing this. The same energy that a person gives for you to you, you have to give them back. They just wording it different, okay? That same volatile, negative, toxic energy that a person gives to you, you give it back to them. You don't have to be volatile. You don't have to be toxic. And you don't have to be negative. But what you can do is block the fuck their asses and not fuck with them no more. That's what the fuck you can do. And until you grow the fuck up, I'm writing you out of my life. 
And sometimes none of them grow the fuck up. And you know what? That's be a shame and that be a pity. But you know what? Even when it's your own child, you got to put your motherfucking foot down and let them know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Or else they ain't going to do nothing but continuously disrespect you. They ain't going to do nothing but continuously heartbreak you and humiliate you and, and make you feel as such. Who don't want to help their children? Sometimes tough love is the best love. And, you know, my mother and me, we stopped speaking because of a situation. You know what I'm saying? She stopped speaking to me. She cussed me out and got mad with me because I wasn't speaking to my son. So you cussed me the fuck out and got mad with me because I'm not speaking to my son who disrespected me. Who disrespected the fuck out of me. This was like a year ago. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know. I wasn't speaking to him. This was like almost a year ago when I wasn't speaking to him and she knew about it, but you stopped speaking to me because I stopped speaking to him because you feel like, oh, you shouldn't stop speaking to your kids because they do things like that. That's what the fuck she said. But you stopped speaking to me because I wasn't speaking to him, but he's being disrespectful to me and now you being disrespectful to me. So now I can't speak to neither one of y'all. Makes no sense, right? Makes no fucking sense. People that are toxic in your life, that means that they're unhealthy in your life. Who the fuck want to live an unhealthy life? Like, your life term is short. You know what I'm saying? I just said to you guys, some people live to be 104. Okay, 104 years old is not old. Because this earth has been here forever. Okay? So when you think about it, 104 years versus the amount of time that the earth's been here is not a long time at all. And 104 years will go by so quick that, you know what I'm saying? You was a newborn 104 years ago. Time goes by. And your life term is short. So why would you want your lifetime, your short life term, to be miserable and irritated and aggravated and unhealthy and toxic with somebody, regardless of who they were to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been saying this for a minute about myself. I'm in my late 40s. And I'm about to be 50. I ain't got to answer to nobody. And I'm not about to let nobody disrespect me. I don't give a fuck who you are. Okay, police, children, other grown-ups, whoever, family members. I'm damn near 50. I'm a damn near half a century years old, okay? I'm not about to let nobody disrespect me and talk to me any old type of way. I wish a motherfucker would. Because you'll get this motherfucking tongue lashing real quick. And if you pop too much shit, you might get these hands, okay? Let's just be for real. I deserve respect and you're going to give me respect. And that's what I be saying. That's how the fuck it is. And now when we have kids, our own children that want to be disrespectful to us, well, girl, block their asses off. Block them off. Block them from your social media. Block them from your motherfucking phone. And block them from your life. Because I've done it several times. It ain't nothing wrong with a little blocking. Shit, let me tell you something. If you act up, you get smacked up, okay? Don't act the fuck up because you will get smacked the fuck up. And then you'll get blocked the fuck up, okay? So Margaret, take that advice. And who gives a fuck about it, okay? Who cares? Let his ass get himself out of it. Since he's so selfish and feels self-entitled, make sure he gets himself out of the bind and block him from your life. Period. And so you can act right, then there will be no communication. Nobody deserves disrespect. Okay? Nobody. Now, on that note, I'm going to go and I'm going to leave y'all. I thank y'all for joining me in this um, real talk. I thank y'all for giving me y'all time and blessings and love and support. And I thank y'all for loving and supporting my family. I hope whenever you're watching this, y'all have an amazing day, a blessed day. Girl, I know I'm about to go downstairs. I made some sausage in um an air fryer and forgot about them. Okay? I, 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 I always be forgetting shit. But I'm going to go add some eggs to it. I might just add some grits to it. Because uh, let me tell y'all, I was sitting up here. My stomach was growling, girl. Okay? You ever get so hungry, your stomach growling, you feel like you're about to die? You feel so sick? Oh, girl, yes. I'm hungry. And this water is not even helping me none. And funny thing, y'all don't even see me drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee that much anymore. I've been, I've been doing really good with not drinking it. Okay? Uh, my doctor did tell me that out of five days that I drink it, she wants me to cut it down to maybe every other day. But, girl, I did that. And now I just don't do it. I just, I might get it maybe once a week, if that, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like the need to it. But I will say, when I first stopped drinking it, I was getting like these headaches and I wasn't feeling that great. And it was probably from the caffeine. But now that I don't drink it like that, I don't feel the need or the urge like, oh, I got to have an iced coffee. I got to have an iced coffee. Because that's how I used to be. I don't feel that way anymore. I still do like, though, to go in there and speak to them in the morning because they're great people at the staff at Duncan. Um, so, but, um, yeah. I haven't had a coffee yet. I had one last week, one. And then on top of that, it saves me money because that shit ain't cheap every day. It shit is not cheap. But I love y'all. Hope y'all be blessed and stay safe out there. You know what I'm saying? Mind your business like I be telling y'all. Stay out the way. Be positive. Stay diva and devolicious. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, girl. Okay? And I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the comments.